Well, holy crap. Georgia had something to prove, and boy, are they. It's 65-7 to seven right now, I think. Uh, seven minutes left in the game. <laughs> holy shit. Um, they were dominant again. Second year in a row, national champions. And uh, Kirby Smart is a, an amazing coach. They are recruiting like none other. And this is what elite recruiting gets you, I guess. I mean, look at Alabama. Look at the SEC in general. Every other conference struggles keeping up with them, especially TCU. Just a shot in the dark for them. First year for Sonny Dykes. Caught a lot of people off guard. A lot of close wins. And one loss in their uh, championship game. They did beat my Michigan Wolverines. And I'm going to be talking about Michigan's future. Um, you know, if it wasn't for two pick sixes, Michigan would have been playing Georgia. And I have to believe it would have been a better game than what we are seeing tonight. <laughs> um, but we didn't win. And uh, Brock Bowers, first of all, is a top five NFL pick. I would pick him number one if I didn't need a quarterback. He is that good. Everyone knew he was good last year, and uh, this year he's proving his excellent versatility. He can run. He can catch. He can do it all. He looks like a receiver out there. He looks like a running back, too, and a tight end at times. He can get big. Just an amazing talent. But that said, um, he's probably, he's going to the NFL, so Georgia is going to have to fill some spots, but they will. What does Michigan need to do? Michigan gets J.J. and Edwards and Corum back. Corum uh, decided to come back, which uh, should maybe possibly persuade Harbaugh to come back. He's flirting with the NFL again, even though he said he wouldn't. But, I, you know, I don't blame the guy. I don't because he made it to a Super Bowl and was a play away from winning it. It was that uh, um, blackout Super Bowl, I believe, in New Orleans. And it was versus his brother. <laughs> and he lost to his brother in the Super Bowl. That's got to hurt. You know, that fuel is still there for him. But I, I just hope he realizes, man, you could be a legend here in Michigan. Um, and Or is he holding us back? And I'm going to get into that as well. But, of course, he built this program back up. It was the Dark Ages after um, Lloyd Carr, Rich Rod, and then Brady Hoke. And it took Harbaugh a while. And he had to have added... Um, incentive of getting fired from Michigan after 2020 season to do anything. Well, here we are now, though. Uh, two wins versus Ohio State that this last time, a drubbing at their house. And uh, two Big Ten titles in a row and two playoff appearances in a row. The first time versus Georgia, we got blown out like TCU is right now. That's why I just, man, and then the second time we lost to TCU. Shot ourselves in the foot too many times there. Michigan would have did a lot better versus Georgia this time around. I believe that. But that's neither here nor there. Like I said, Harbaugh might come back. Uh, the defense returns plenty of production as well. Pretty much everybody. Maybe Saner still is probably going pro, and Mike Morris, uh, Mozzie Smith, maybe. Who else? Uh, DJ Turner, possibly, but there are so many guys behind them, like Will Johnson, ready to step up. Uh, defensive line is stacked. I can't wait for that. So whoever the head coach will be uh, next season, We'll get Michigan's 1,000th win, um, the first school to 1,000 wins. I know we started more uh, earlier than others, but look at percentage, too. 
Michigan is top three. So, all time. So, you know, it's a great program. We just need to get over that hump now. We got to the uh, the college football playoff two years in a row. This time, we got to get a little bit better. Each time, we've gotten better. Um, If Harbaugh is back, he has to do what I said before this season, which is take the handcuffs off the quarterback and let him practice in-game. So when he needs to pass, he doesn't throw pick sixes and stuff like that. You know, he has, he has the confidence and the decisiveness at that point to not do that. Uh, we relied on the run game way too much. And then when it mattered versus TCU, like on that first drive, we didn't run the ball on fourth and goal. Why not? Why do we do this trickery stuff? We didn't do it all year. Why now? <laughs> um, but I would like to see that because, you know, Andrew Anthony transferred out and we need to get the ball into these wide receivers' hands or they're just going to keep leaving. Uh, Darius Clemens is amazing. In the spring game, he's had that huge touchdown. Uh, Tyler Morris is awesome. Roman, uh, that's just freshman. Roman Wilson hopefully comes back. He might go pro, though, um, but I don't think he – we didn't feature him enough to um, get him to go pro. But he's amazing. He needs to come back. Christian Dixon, any any upperclassman, get the ball in these guys' hands, please. Loveland, too, tight end, of course, is back. Um, Schoolmaker's probably uh, graduating. I don't know because COVID, they got the extra year. So some players get six years because of that. But we'll we'll see. Um, we want to keep the toughness and the run game with Edwards and Corum and Stokes, etc. Of course. Uh, I don't want it to be an OSU offense, you know, where we're soft and there's no physicality. But you have to have a good pass game, uh, especially with a five-star quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, who has proven to make all the passes. He just hasn't gotten the experience yet. I mean, he, he played a lot of games last year, uh, not much time, and then he started most all the games this year and probably is Michigan's best quarterback they've they've had in the modern era. And uh, I'm, in fact, I'm sure it is in the modern era he is. Uh, He's got the yards. He doesn't turn the ball over. He can run. He's mobile. Um, Denard Robinson comes to mind with the run game, and he was just a different animal. But J.J. McCarthy is the real deal. and We need to put more games into his hands especially with the week non-conference Michigan has again next season. Lay it out on the lot. Let's see what he can do to open it up and make it easier for Corum and Edwards and Stokes. Be more balanced. Um, <clears throat> the game is at home next year uh, versus Ohio State. And we saw what we did to them. In their house, they lose Stroud probably, and all uh, probably a few wide receivers. And uh, I think you know, I think right now Michigan wins that game, and we'll win the Big Ten again, and we'll make the playoff again. So it comes down to philosophy here. If Harbaugh stays, he's got to change it up a little bit and allow. Michigan to be reach their full potential, uh, the talent that they have at every position. And then Michigan could play Georgia next year after all in the playoff. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. So there you have it. Um, the Michigan's early future uh, preview, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, and have a great night.